Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 5th grade concept of expanded notation. This is standard 5.2a in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 22 of the 2018 release star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we have a temperature in degrees Fahrenheit is shown and they give it to us in expanded notation and we have to write it as a numeral and there's no A, B, C, or D to choose from. It's going to be a free response or a gridable response answer. So let's see if we can figure out what number this is. 90 times 10 plus 4 times 1 tenth or 0 0.1. Well, let's look at place value. And let's just kind of spread it out here. I'm going to go to the hundreds place. And then I'm going to go right here to the hundredths. So the hundreds to the hundredths. And let's just label these right here. So when we first started looking at place value, we thought that the farthest one to the right or the farthest place to the right would be the ones place. And if we think of this decimal point kind of as a wall, and we're kind of hitting the wall, then the ones is always going to be the closest one to that wall or that decimal point on the left side. So we can actually get smaller than a decimal point. We can get into the tenths place. So it kind of mirrors what's on the left side. We skip the ones, and we get the tenths. The THS is kind of our, our sign that we're getting into digits smaller than one hundredths. And so what we can do in order to put expanded notation in place is we can write the value, right? So the hundredths place, each digit is worth 100. The tens place, each digit is worth 10, so on and so forth. Tenths, 0 0.1, hundredths, 0 0.01. So that's the hundredths place. And so how can we figure out what this number is, this 9 times 10? Well, they give us the place value right there. That 10 means it's in the tens place. And this 9 means that's the digit that's in the tens place. So I'm going to put a 9 right there in the tens place. So if I wanted to, I could say this is 9 times the value or 9 times 10 because it's in the tens place. We're going to do the same thing right here. So I've got this 0 0.1. This is the tenths place. So I'm going to put a 4 in the tenths place. So if I wanted to multiply these two, I could say 4 times its value 0 0.1. And that's it. That's my expanded notation. I've got 9 times 10 plus 4 point times point zero point 0.1. Now, what we don't need is we don't need anything to the left of my biggest digit, so we don't need hundreds. We don't need anything to the right, but we do need something in that ones place. And since I don't have anything times 1, I'm just going to put a 0. You can always put a 0 and any missing digits in between, and that will kind of hold the spot, right? So we, I don't have any ones, so it's 90. So 9 times 10 is going to be 90, 90.4. Now, we've done all that work, and now we need to figure out how we're going to bubble in our answer. So this is what the answer document looks like. We're going to get this little grid right here, and you're going to get oh, this gridable response, you're going to get a decimal right there. You're going to get two columns to the right of the decimal, and you're going to get three columns to the left of the decimal. So what we need to do is we need to make sure we hit our decimal right there. We're going to put it in like this, 90.4, leave the hundreds and the hundredths place both blank. And then we find the 9, bubble that in, find the 0, bubble that in, find the 4, bubble that in, and we get our answer 90.4.